Hey there, welcome back. I'm Sally Morgan and I developed this contemporary vocal technique, Sing Like You Speak. Yes, Sing Like You Speak is here to strip away all those bad habits that cover up what is your natural voice. But voice, okay, what is that instrument? As we said in the previous video, you already have the perfect musical instrument. It is your body, it's you. You are the perfect musical instrument. But what is the vocal instrument? And that's what we wanna look at in this lesson. So I like to consider that my vocal instrument is from my bottom to the top of my head. And all that is in between. Now, I don't want to work and push and shove with all this stuff. I want to open up. Open up so this amazing instrument can do what it needs to do. Trouble with most vocal training is that it tries to manipulate a natural process. It tries to interfere with and control a natural process. Not with sing like you speak. What we do is to capitalize on what the brilliant instrument does all on its own and without our thought interferences. So what is this instrument and how does it work? Now, I said from my bottom to the top of my head, Yes, because, okay, in Sing Like You Speak, we use a reference to the power source. Now, the power source is about three inches below your navel and dead center in your body. It's where a ball of nerve endings comes together. And there's a great energy there. I always kind of giggle a little bit when, when I find that and tap into it. Now, that is where the powerful muscles that move breath and sound easily through your body live. Let me start down here to demonstrate. Okay, so these powerful muscles, these are abdominal, back, and core muscles. Everybody talks about diaphragmatic breathing in reference to your singing. Well, the diaphragm is involved in your breathing. The diaphragm, though, is housed inside your rib cage. It sits at an angle right in here. And the resting diaphragm looks about like this. Then when I open to inhale, my lungs are right here. Diaphragm drops and spreads, creating lots more space in the lungs, and that will draw breath into your instrument. And that is the end of the diaphragm's job. And then it is all these muscles that then take over to move breath and sound through your body. Now, this is what happens completely naturally when you're speaking, always, always, always when you're speaking. So what, let's do, let's just say ho, 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 ho. Watch here, ho, ho, ho. Now am I making those muscles move? Ho, ho, ho. No, I'm not. When I allow this body to work as it was meant to, those muscles can do what they need to do. Now, we're, next lesson, I think we're gonna get into how to get an opening inhale that activates those muscles because that's very important. Back to what this instrument is. So we have all these muscles then that support this flattened out diaphragm and the lungs sitting right on top of that. Now, as those abdominal muscles work, it moves the diaphragm, it creates less space 
in the lungs and the breath needs to come up through your instrument. Now, when it gets right about there, <laughs> which is where your larynx is, that's where you, that's the hard cartilage around your vocal cords. Now, those vocal cords are very delicate tissue and they vibrate together like this. It's really amazing to watch them. You can find videos on YouTube to see that, that vibration, that opening when you inhale and then the vibration of these vocal cords moving together. One thing that gets in the way of every singer I've trained is that knowing that your vocal cords are here then they try to do something right there to help the voice. Well, you're not helping at all. What you're doing, if there is pushing and straining and reaching that affects this area, what you're doing is you're making it smaller and you're not allowing the vocal cords to vibrate and they have to vibrate to create sound. So we want to let this be as just free and easy as possible. Then once we've created a sound here, that moves up into here, which is, well, my, I like to say it's where we make money because <laughs> this is where we create language and singers, are the language of the song. And we are what communicates with the audience through words. So we create the sound here. That area also needs to be nice and loose. And then up above the hard palate in your nasal passages and sinus cavities, that's a resonating chamber. So the resonance begins here, and then it comes up into this area, and this is where we send that sound out into the world. Part of what you learn with Sing Like You Speak is how to open this and how to use it. Let me demonstrate the difference with this. So if I have, I call it the O zone, if I have this area all closed down, those are my resonators. Holding hands by the lake, first I love you. Now, number one, that's hard to do because there's no place for the sound to go to release. If I open up that area, holding hands by the lake, First, I love you. And then I get this resonant released sound. It all starts with an opening inhale that goes all the way down to that power source, that energy here in the pelvis. Oh, there's just so much more I want to tell you about. There is so much richness that is available to you, to that perfect musical instrument of yours. And if you're anything like me, I know you're just dying to do this. You are wanting so much to let your voice free and to sing like you speak with power, freedom, confidence. I'll see you soon.